Welcome to Cabo Properties YouTube channel. Now this way I want to welcome you to this edition of this brand new program where we call Land Talk. And the topic where we look at today inside this edition here, so now the land reform process. So generally, we they can get um, an update from the one that we did before um, for this land reform business. So that's let we know usa we don't come out, usa we day and usa we they go. How for use the online processing platform with Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning introduce? Use your smartphone or computer. Go to the ministry in website when at www.molhcp.gov.sl. Click on apply for services. Click the service where you want, like building permit, freehold, service plots, and more. Create your account or login straight if you already get account. Member say your username now the phone number where you use for create your account. Click choose a service. Fill the form and upload all your supporting documents. Submit and wait for rejection or approval. Nine that. Dr. Turan Senesi. Good evening and welcome to Land Talk, sir. Yeah, good evening, good evening, sir. Illumians. And uh, of course, everybody will be out there will listen to me. Of course, um, I get me on um immediate supervisor me own boss <laughs> now the sierra leone land administration project we are the project coordinator dr alpha joe chan it's a day between us so for make we can discuss um what we go on right now now the land housing and country planning sector good evening sir yeah good evening good evening family the honorable minister let's start with you straight land talk now plenty talk and that's not because we don't change governments then but we don't change presidents then Bokute. We don't change ministers then Bokute. But the land sector had always been chaotic. If today you know you see the Deepa one after minister and you know, see minister Deepa one after somebody and uh, we have been through this all this while. And then Boku analysts they don't agree say now the policy direction now it will be they get wrong. It's like we not be no side we want for go. So under retired Brigadier Julius Madabio as president of the Republic of Sierra Leone. And under you as um, Minister of Lands, Housing and Country Planning, what is the policy direction for the land, housing and country planning sector currently? Well, uh, as you rightly introduced the whole topic or discussion, the president did not be in that office there before. And uh, when he left the office, he knew exactly what is the problems in West Sierra Leone or civilians that they face, especially in the land sector. So when they take over, it makes sure say it de defined clearly who say who say want to take the land sector. So when he appoints me, the discussion with me and get and tell me say uh, A, B, C, and D now I want for you do. How you do am um, the methodology we go use for accomplishing in a day, not to our robot, but me want for see the results. So. When I take over the Ministry of Lands, which I decide for Luna for look at a situation where put a team together, we'll sit down, and we'll begin to talk, talk about the problems. We we'll talk about them problems and they were inspired problems and they, they will can now say at the end of the day, we should have a kind of uh, direction, a kind of uh, roadmap. So for all achievement in a day, we can see, say, we for put her in a kind of policy. Well, again, maybe I need for highlight some of the problems and they we be really done in at the uh, ministry before we talk about uh, the uh, the solutions or break them uh, to bear in the form of policies. People will agree with me say the, the sector itself was chaotic. We are fed fed boost boost here and there in terms of land ownership. You will see say you will see double allocation of lands or multiple allocation of lands. Uh, a particular land to too many uh, people we go claim ownership they get too many papers we ask mr a e, go tell you say i get paper we ask mr b say you get paper you know that kind of thing that they been doing inside the ministry then of course also the other area will be getting a major problem now be also the issue about uh, planning and housing so you see say land allocation land distribution land ownership all be chaotic 
And uh, the, His Excellency, the President, don't be satisfied about that at all. Every now and then, we'll be just in at the uh, media, at the radio, the social media, here and there, for all the wrong reasons. So His Excellency said, look, my friend, we have to make sure that we bring some sanity and we make sure, say, uh, we bring in policies. So, when we don't identify all of those problems in there, and then, of course, including that of the housing sector, we really not in there, we decide, say, okay, let us map out the strategy. The strategy will bring come into uh, in five phases in terms of policies. One, we'll talk, say, okay, for now, make sure, say, people will not continue for the first threat over land. They go and claim here and there, let us bring in some reforms in terms of the laws. So we will begin for do now for begin look at the laws and we don't need to do it for quite some time. Now we don't need at the peak. We had most of their laws and then now we are in the process of reviewing most of their laws and they for me the demands of this particular generation, of course, the generation where they come after we. The next thing is if we review their laws and they the ministry of lands in one grain we for handle all the in terms of implementation. So we we'll say okay, let us have another direction where we will bring in a kind of institutional reforms. So they go with the policy reform, hmm? or oh, they look at their old laws, then we we'll review them. They at the same time, we we'll introduce new laws, we we'll go for solving problems, and they then challenges, and they will be done against now the land sector. They at the same time, we we'll say, okay, let us have additional vehicle, we will move for help with. So bring in also the institutional reform. We we'll do all of this for make sure, say, there is efficiency and effectiveness in terms of service delivery so that people will get the services on time. People will get uh, less halahala in terms of, I mean, getting the services of the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. We we'll not only stop there, now talk, say, okay, let us also come with, uh, uh, with mode of operations. What do we do for ensure that there is effective and efficient service delivery? So, uh, we come in with... Uh, Processes and procedures we don't put in place and we make sure so we don't do lots and lots of orientation within the ministry itself in terms of the staff there within the we don't do a lot of training in terms of for building capacity so that they will meet uh within within really the public one for see in terms of uh, uh, with delivery. Then we can also understand say when you look at the towns and cities across uh, Sierra Leone, you will see somebody who will be a fine, nice, decent house. Then you will see somebody can put Pamodinia. You see, say somebody, you go see some community, they need a community well planned. Somebody go can build a block the access road. You go see, say somebody go can a put some school inside, outside, for, suppose for be a residential area. Or you see, they can bring come a kind of church or mosque. You put in a particular place where noise not for there at all. So all of them, see, you see, they happen. So what you see, we say, okay, let us also come with a policy where we will look at effective planning of our towns and cities. We've been working on that. We don't do a lot of consultations. We don't do a lot of uh, even within the ministry, we don't do a lot of restructuring. Now we get, because before now, what you they get, it was just about land, 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 land. So when uh, the president look at that and they say, no, go, go let you see if you go look again at planning. Go let you see if you go look again at housing. So we also make sure, see, the unit will be there when I've been housing and country planning will split up. We'll split up at the ministry, we'll make sure, see, planning directory stand alone. They will make sure, so we'll bring uh, housing. So also don't make sure so we don't establish uh, the effect, uh, the the, how, uh, the planning directorate, and then of course we don't also establish uh, the housing directorate for uh, looking to then problems then in terms of housing for uh, Ceylonians and of course other people who they can. Currently we have about eight hundred thousand in terms of housing de deficit in Ceylon. Too many people and they wouldn't look for homes. Too many people and they wouldn't look for a situation where they will get roof over their heads. It, 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 a major uh, problem inside uh, Freetown and of course the other towns and cities in the village. So if you look at that, we don't do legislative reforms with the now, we they progress with our very well institutional reforms. Of course, we don't give back to the establishment of the National Land Commission. The National Land Commission is now being established in the move. We they try for spread out across the country. We have done a bit of uh, employment. The uh, man with the head that Google for uh, explain that a little. As I say, so these are the five reforms, uh, uh, policy directions, eh? legislative, legislative reforms, institutional reforms. We don't also make sure, say, service delivery uh, in terms of the roadmap. We don't also come with that. We don't come with effective planning directorate and, of course, the housing uh, directorate. So these are the five uh, areas this, in terms of policy direction of the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. Honorable Minister, plenty thank you where you don't um, take with you the policy direction we we the follow currently because they can normally say if you don't know who you come out you definitely not get for no who you they go 
you don't highlight to be within some of the challenges them and as a result of the challenges here so his excellency the president in agenda don't put um five policy direction where we suppose for father now i want to make we can talk about the specifics about some of them policy reforms here so so you talk about legislative reforms and you tell Fambulem, say, we don't pass some law them, new law them already. And then you tell Fambulem, say, we need to review some law them. And in fact, we come back with new laws them. And I, I will want at this juncture, make you take with two. Waiting at the laws them, we, um, we don't pass already inside this reform process. And how the laws they need to change the way how we they administer and manage land. And waiting at the other laws them, we need to look into. Right. Let, let's start with uh, the, 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 the one way side, who side the problems have been on this too, too, uh, so much, when are the uh, Directorate of Service and Arms. Uh, since when the colonial masters are left with, the laws that they left, they've been so old, and they're so old, and they 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 use. Then laws and they, like the Public Lands Act, we don't make sure so we don't bring a car forward, we don't do a lot of conversation around that. The Service Act, we don't do a lot of conversation around. So we didn't review that one in the day. The 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 act uh the 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 the, 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 the public lands act, the service act, uh of course the unoccupied lands act. They one in the day all we don't do a lot of conversation around those ones, we don't get a lot of uh, discussions across the country. So that one day we depend progress to that day and for make sure so we review them for let them meet the current demands of our society, our country, so that we will solve all of their problems and they will get for do it. So first thing you will see right now uh, if you go to the ministry like quite different thing. First thing you go to the ministry, you go meet people that sit down. They hold pen, pencil, ruler, then then a blackboard, then they can draw line here and there for draw survey plan. I would tell the members of the public now, say, I mean, for over a year now, don't get over that. Now, the one they were in the cadastral section of the ministry, they now, they now use their computers for make sure, say, they produce survey plans uh, uh, digitally, you know. Now, that's now what they do. And uh, even for, uh, in terms of evaluating some of the applications we get for do with uh, the construction of houses and whatever we are selling, we need to make sure say, we use now a digital platform for check all of them and they for make sure say, they are okay. So we need to review the acts and they, and we will not stop it because of the enormity of the task, because of the, the, the way how the task will get, the way how huge it is. We don't already make sure, say, we don't come in with some other laws then. One of such laws now the National Land Commission Act, who don't pass into law, they don't help with for law establish the National uh, Land Commission. We don't already do some employment, as I say, and we spread now. We don't begin spread already across the country. So that one day, we don't already enact that one day, and all the regulations then also we get for do or for help or in shape the implementation of uh, with land policies we get for do the National Land Commission instead of not passing regulations and they not stop the the customary land rights act of course people that don't now say we don't pass that one we will make sure say they know I mean discrimination not again in terms of land ownership. Now you know talk say woman who own land. Now you know we talk say because uh, you know the man you know man who own the property you know you wept yourself when you get you get right to the property and besides that even in the provinces, where before now they talk, say, uh, like the we own brothers and sisters, they own the Creoles, they say they don't get rights for own land in the provinces. We don't pass that one. Over a year ago, uh, when they go down to the second year, we don't make sure, say, now discrimination all day. Whether you be Limba, you be Timine, you, get, you be Creole, you be Fuller, wherever I say, you know, you want for own land, you get rights for own land day, as long as you get used for that land day. So the Customary Land Rights Act in SSF, we don't already uh, uh, pass that one. Now, Another very important thing will not happen as a loan will not be done happen before. Is that, the re is that the of the registration of title? Before now, wait till we don't get inside a loan, now conveyance there will be on the register, we really go up and down, I get a land document, an instrument you get. You know the title to the land. And that instrument there, as I say, and I don't need to explain that many a time, the instrument they show say there is a transaction between you and the one we get the land. But you're not confer title on you. So, so we don't cross that barrier also. also. So, so now, right now, we need to work on the Registration Act. That Registration Act, the, now it will give the National Land Commission the authority for now make sure say they register people that uh, land when they will give a title certificate. So that one also, we don't work on that. It is now at the final stage. Then, when once we come to the implementation of the National Land Commission Act and that of the Customary Land Rights Act, Definitely, in terms of registration of title 
for land across the country by each and every Sierra Leonean, we they think say at the point in time, conflict them will be. Because people will begin multiple documents there for one piece of land or parcel of land at the point in time. So for now, make sure say that they also we will sail through. We will not get much problems. So the education act in CSF will depend on now, will depend on finalizing. So that maybe come next year, either at the, at the beginning or maybe mid next year, when once we start the title registration as I say, then small, small chamo, then small, small kuskas, then we will come up, then small, small palava, palava will come up. Then, of course, that acts the good day now for guide the process as to how do we resolve then conflict and day in terms of land ownership. So we don't do that one. Also, the other thing that they happen as Sierra is that you go see the people like, will take land. There's not the land, so then they come to government. They ask government for the government give the land for a particular activity. Government give them that land. They go take that land, they, they go they put it down, they no use it. After some time, they begin to say they will put it into another, uh, another uh, use. Now, the unoccupied lands act will be done day. Instead of the reviewer now for give more teeth and drink. To, to government, so, so that, that if you don't take land, or we don't go to the provinces, we don't ask the chiefs then, because you know, say in the provinces, the land is in the custody of the chiefs. Now, government, they all the land across the country, because as I've been saying the other day, the, the, the land is itself, now it makes uh, a sovereign state. So, everywhere you go, the land where that where that map they show, it belongs to the state. So, now this land now it makes a a sovereign state. So it is in the custody of the chiefs in the provinces on behalf of government. So if government grab it, ask the chiefs and say, okay, somebody don't care, want to do investment. This land that is shipped of one user. So we take them, they will give compensation. When government don't give compensation, government don't take that land. Let's say don't give to Mr. Uh, Dr. Chan for a particular purpose. So the person say want to do agriculture or you want to open industry. Then you go lay that land, you know, user. It becomes unoccupied. So this law, they come with back, oh, they review so now the unoccupied lands act. And they give trend to government for take that land again, and not give no compensation to that person. They, they make it available to the one we want for user in the interest of Sierra Leone. The one we want for can establish industry. We will promote jobs. They will pay tax to government. Government use that money for provide social services across the country for the people of Sierra Leone. We will benefit the people rather than you go hold on to yourself. You keep on to yourself. You don't make use of it. So they will review also the unoccupied lands act, and we make sure we will get it so that the government the government, government is for benefit, benefit. not to individual for benefit past the government. government. When the government of Salon benefit, all other Sierra Leoneans go benefit. So these are the areas and this is what we're looking to. All right, Honorable Minister, you also mention effective and accessible service delivery as part of the five um, policy directions there where the ministry they pursue right now. And in capture of the attention because some efficient and effective service delivery is also featuring prominently now his excellency the president in national big five agenda so you as the minister of lands housing and country planning you have been minister for over three years now how have you made it easy or difficult for make people then able for access service now the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. Because in the past everybody know what are the problems there. You need for service somebody there, you need for be party person, you need for be connected some way, somehow. So how have you changed that or how have you worsened that situation? You see, when you go to <laughs> anytime you go to the president's office. If you are posting with a notice or you take note of everything, when you enter the office of the president, you will see, say, who side pen for the, you see, and say, that the inside office. Who side file for the, you will see, say, that file in the inside office. When you enter the, you will see, say, in table is so neat. Like, it is like every day in the park. You understand? But that will tell you about how organized that office is, who side the president is. So, the president believes in doing things in an organized manner, in a way that you are able to move the process so that the people and they forget the benefit. It is not about you. And that me observe from where the visitor and where they talk to them. So every now and then he talks about service delivery, effective and efficient service delivery. So how 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 you will translate that? We don't see from the leadership into your work process. So what we have done at the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. So you see, say somebody they come and they take a whole file. We come for a like building permit. Now so the file will be broken. So because on the the kind way, the kind structure, all the and then five, ten. 
uh, story, you know, the recording, uh, 3D, I mean, uh, plans, uh, the recording, you will see all of it in the so you will put the file, will bump so, where you put all the documents inside it. So what you don't do, now for reduce that kind of body, you get your telephone, you can put the document in your laptop, you snap, snap them, you upload them, you send them on our system. So what we have done, we don't establish a kind of digital system at the Ministry of Lands, with the support will work through the processes of our activities at the Ministry of Lands. So you will see, say, you will now apply for building permits wherever you are. You don't need to come to the Ministry of Lands. You will now apply for also regularize your status or your documents there with the Ministry of Lands without coming to the Ministry of Lands. You will see, say, you will apply for parcel of land. You don't need to come to the Ministry of Lands. All you need to do is you have your telephone or you have your laptop, you log on, you get internet facility. Log on to your computer, log on to uh, your, your telephone, telephone or your, your mobile, mobile you get, you go to the site. When once, once you click, click you go to the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning, you go to www.molhcp.gov.sf. When once you click on that, you will see say, the ministry website will be very robust, will establish also a very interactive. You will see say, when you go there, you will go to the services column, you click on that, you go, you create your account for yourself. When once you don't create that account for yourself, you cannot apply for land. You cannot apply for building permit. You can apply for regularization. Whenever you want to renew your building permit, you can go there against you. Your account is there. You can do it without coming. And when all of this is done, then of course, the same portal, it also gets the opportunity for even calculate your building fee. When once that is done, you know exactly what you get for pay. The same portal will tell you what do you do to make sure that you pay. No sooner you pay, and they go direct into the consolidated form. They give the reply. The, uh, me, uh, the finance, uh, the accountant and the uh, finance directorate, hey, all what you need for do, and for let just verify, say, yes, this money don't go to the account. Where they are bank of salary, they transit through, so they don't commercial bank of body. Well, once they don't verify that, instead of now, we take click of a button on the computer, and they go directly inside your phone. Honorable Minister, this sounds like a good innovation, but digital transformation also, they come with own challenges there. How are you they able to monitor, for ensure, say, you staff them at the ministry, not take advantage of these digital applications with people that they do? How do you know that um, people that don't submit their applications there, as the Honorable Minister? Well, once you don't have so right now, I log on to the computer, I they will tell you exactly how much I don't get it today. Just today, in terms of revenue, revenue that I want. Secondly, I will, I will tell, tell you exactly the total number of people that don't apply. Where the front desk office, where they are the Ministry of Lands, where they are responsible for verify, where it's not the verification they do, for make sure say all supporting documents have been uploaded into the system. Are they able to know the person who don't apply today? Why they were not able to take action yet? Any server in the world, are they able for monitor now? As they submit document, as they process document, and if you have done it yourself, you and our client. Not all that person do one for you. Any inside you document, document land, if you didn't have the directorate of service, you didn't know say you will document it. If your document don't go to the uh, state land clearance office, you didn't know say yes, your document is there. If your document don't move to the permanent setting desk, you go not say it did you don't move it. If you don't come to the Minister of Lands, Housing and Country Planning, because what you make all the car in the transit to me. Why? I want, I want to make, make sure that those documents that are supposed to be uploaded are also verified that they are uploaded because we get a checklist. Then not only that, I want to make sure say the directorate of housing they don't play their own part. The directorate of country planning don't play their own part. The directorate of service they don't play their own part because when something goes wrong, I want to make sure they are holding their responsible that they are doing their part because like for building permit, the uh, directorate of country planning for don't visit the sites. And, and, look, the, and look at the topography of the land. land. When well, they don't look at the topography of the land, and they look at the, 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 the plan, the housing plan, and know they for able to give me, because they are they, we have engineers there, they for able to tell me, say yes, that particular land is suitable for this particular construction. So if something gets wrong or go wrong, I will hold them responsible. So are they able to know? So when once they visit, they're done, they are going to also, there is also a form where they feel. For make sure that the things that we look for, they don't also make sure that they don't tick tick all the way they call it. So are they able to monitor workflow eh, in terms of I mean revenue? Like uh, just last week, we were somewhere uh, for this month of August, somewhere between four to five hundred million. Today we are check, we don't go over seven hundred million. Just million, I mean all just for the month of uh, August. Wait, are they? 
So, so the whole, whole year, year, the Ministry of Lands, which they generate was 400 million. million. Maximum of wild on look inside the last 10 years was about 600 million. million. And then they generate. Generate. But this is August. Just in August, we've gone beyond. And uh, which uh, makes it will not intensify we monitoring the weather because the windy rains are not really disturbing the entire small. But I mean, other than that, we've done clock with the project. All right, so now, Minister, we get plenty in there for talk. So, Dr. Alpha John Cham is the project coordinator for the Sierra Leone Land Administration project. We want to know, with all of these reforms, when the Honorable Minister they talk about, who side this project come out and how this project feature into all of the reforms here? If now we demand the action, I will say, which is the policy objective of this project? Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Um, so the project comes in um, for address the the problems that we have just talked talk about. And, and also, also for support the policy, policy directives of the, the ministry, ministry. Uh, in, in, in terms, terms of uh, legal, legal reform, te uh, institutional, institutional reform, of, of course, uh, technological, technological transformation, transformation, capacity building in the sector. sector. So, so that's, that's where, where we focus. focus. So, so the, the, the project, project objective, objective now really for establish a land administration system, system which really is another problem we we identify in the whole land sector. And we want, we want to make sure, say, we, we get, get an efficient, efficient and accessible land administration system, system where we promote or strengthen service, service delivery and, and ensure that, that we shorten in the time for all land transactions from the time, for example, from the time where you, you, you survey your land, land to the point where you, you, you get your title. title. And, and also, we want to make an accessible because the, the, the administration, administration system, system is not only for the land sector, as you know, the land sector is very wide. You, you get, get so many players, you get the banks, you get the real estate, you get the, 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 the private uh, sector. So we want to make sure so they're able to access that system and for help them in their own transaction. If, if you uh, take, for example, NRA for tax, for, for tax purposes, the banks for mortgages, um, et cetera. So, so, so that's, that's the, the, the objective, objective of the, 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 the project, project establishing a, an, an accessible and, and efficient land administration system, system for support the ministry's reform process. process. And, uh, and, and, and how, how we want to do, do that, that um, one, um, support the institutional, institutional reform, reform what the ministry do, 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 or the ministry establish the the land, land commission, commission. So, so what we want to do for is provide the necessary support for make sure the, 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 the commission is functional, functional well established, not only at the national level, but also at the regional and the, 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 the local level. level. Of, course, of course, the minister also talked about the legislative reform, what did they, they do? So, so we also provide that support for ensure we will review all the laws there. The laws there, as you know, most of them are outdated, and so there's a need for uh, new, new laws, laws we will support the reform process, process itself and uh, capacity building is a, is a challenge um, so, so we will provide support uh, to the ministry the national, national land commission and ORG as well as the the, 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 the private sector with the license of so make sure say they get the equipment that they need and they get the skill sets that they need and ensure that we can sustain that, 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 capacity that capacity within the sectors today. And, and of course, course as, as you know, um, when, when you say reform, these are transformative reforms, reforms that we need to do. Changing, changing laws, bringing in new systems, etc. Et so, so you need to, people that need for understand, understand the, 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 the reform process, the new laws that we get, the new system we develop. So for do and for ensure, say, we, we get, get acceptance, acceptance and, and ownership, ownership of the reform, reform process. process. We they engage in an extensive land uh, um, uh, uh, public sensitization. So, so that's, that's also, also we also provide, provide support for that. So that we make sure so we carry everybody along so that they will understand the system. system. So, so that's, that's what we, we we as a project they provide for the ministry. All right, All right thank you so very much for um, clarifying to me the kind major support where these projects here so they give towards the land, housing, and concrete planning and reform process we certainly undertake currently. But now, two years into the life of the project, um, if you are asked 
to mark, mark your own, own report card, card in terms of activities. Of activities. So what are some of the specific activities there where these projects don't, don't support already? Well, well, we, we, don't, we, don't, we already don't support a lot. Uh, uh, sorry, the, the Minister already, already outlined most, most of them. For uh, the first one, one is the, the, the laws. We already run two laws already. We know the Customer Lands Rights Act and the National Land Commission Act. And now we are also doing two more and three more along with the regulations. Uh, which, which like, like the Land Title Registration Act, Act, the Education, Education Act, Act, and of course the, the uh, survey, new survey Act. Act. So, so that's, that's the support we would we 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 provide to the ministry. ministry. Again, Again um, we will we'll continue to provide support to the, to the, to the commission, commission and, and ensure, ensure that the, the commission, commission is functional. Is functional. Yeah, yeah, and the essence of all of this is to make sure to make sure we're able to sustain it. And the only way we can sustain it um, uh, for make sure, sure say the commission is functional. functional. And the whole idea, the whole vision there is, is for, for, for getting a one-stop one shop, shop so that you're not going to go from, from you know, building to building or from uh, 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 institution to institution, to institution or, or, or even go, go to one, look, uh, one, one location or national commission. You know, all the non-transaction, you know, incomplete. So, so if the commission is not strong and well-established, functional, then all this reform will be made. So, we, we uh, they provide, provide all the supports that we, 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 we provide. provide. Of course, of course um, already, already there, there, are there are other areas, areas you cannot, cannot see right now. Uh, uh, for example, example, the establishment, the development of the land information system. system. We are far advanced in, 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 in the procurement process for make sure say in a year. We should have, have a new, 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 new land information system. As you missed out point out already, the minister already don't do Significant progress in digitizing all. What you want to do is scale that up and make sure we get a robust land information system where we support the ministry reform process. Capacity building, we we doing it. We already the new one provide necessary equipment and training to to staff within the ministry as well as. Um, uh, National Land Commission. So, so those, those are the areas, areas we're are working, working on, uh, we're, we're working, working around. Um, um, as I say, say some, some you will not see right now, now when in, in a year, year or two, two you begin to see a tangible thing. thing. And one major thing we will not see right now, now the progress we will not make thus far in land title registration. Because as the Honorable Minister rightly don't say, it is, it is shocking, shocking that, that um, as, as a country, country we be just the register instruments, we be just the register transactions. That, that um, I mean, I mean, say I get this land there, so, and then I don't even get title to the land, but I get the power for able to convey that land to you for either owner or for user. Not only now we move towards um, title registration. So, how soon do you think we go reach to that point? Usai, if Fonti say now, I ain't get this land there, so he get title to that land there. He get if he get document for sure say this land and get it. Yeah, um, I mean, we, 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 we hope is. Uh, we, we, we can start, start that as early as we, we can, can within a year, going into the second year from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from now. There are so many things you need to do to make sure to get an environment so that when you start, when you start with the registration, registration you get less, less problems. One, one and I lost them. them. Um, and this has already indicated uh, we do the title registration. We are uh, already getting draft in place. We Once we finalize that and get it approved by cabinet, approved by parliament, parliament then, uh, I, I mean, if, if once we get, get them enacted, enacted then, then we, we, we can, can um, um, we, we, we can, can, you know, start, start registration. registration. Until, Until then, then, you cannot start, start registration, registration, right? The same. same. You, you know, start, start registration also, for, uh, you know, when, when we, we already did so wrongly. wrongly. Well, that's, that's one of the challenges that we get. That, that we, uh, um, either we don't get the service not properly trained, or, or they get the wrong equipment. So we, uh, we, we want to make sure, say, once we, we survey, we survey, we survey accurately. accurately. So, so we provide, provide the training and, 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 and provide, provide uh, establish a new geodetic network in the whole country so that we ensure that we are accurately surveying so that you get wrong plans. Um, so, so once, once we're, we're able, able to forget, forget all of this in place, place then we should be able to start, start the, you know, 
So, stakeholders' involvement, I know you hear anything about that. What's not the roles of the paramount chiefs, for example, in all of this reform process we will talk about? What's not the roles of other government and ministries? departments and, and agencies, agencies which are the roles of the local councils in all of the reforms that we need to that, that's, that's, that's a very good question. question. Um, um, the, the first thing I would say, say we've been able, 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 able to come this far because, because of the collaborative, collaborative uh, partnership we will establish, establish with the government and the local communities, the power and chiefs, of course, and the CSOs. And already, of course, the, the, the other key, key ministries, ministries uh, agencies. Uh, uh, and, and so, um, the, the, the power chiefs, for example, um, they are directly involved in almost every every step of the way in the laws, and uh, they are involved in, 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 in all the engagements that we will take. Um, the CSOs are the, the same. And in, in, in fact, fact we, we, have we have structures, structures that, 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 that uh, they ensure they have active, active participation. We have, we have technical, technical working groups. Um, we we, um, we, 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 we make, make sure, say, we, we involve all of the stakeholders. stakeholders. Um, 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 and, 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 and so, so they, they are actively involved, involved in all, all the processes. processes. We, we, we we do. Do. In fact, additionally, we even provide extra support to CSUs. Uh, through, uh, through uh, FAO, FAO, so that, so that they will engage, they will engage in, 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 in sensitization and capacity building activities at the local level. level. All right. So, 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 so before, before I come, I come back, back to the honourable minister, minister um, one, one important question we are going to ask, ask in, in all, all of this reform, because, because, because we don't then at this country side people that they say that they come for car reform, but the reforms that they go and cause problems along the line. In fact, even they can worsen in the problem. So, this project gets any mechanism. For example, For example, if um, um, we, we, we you you say as a result of this reform, reform you want to go put something in a people in plantation. You say, oh, now we now now we now we now land administration project. You want to go disrupt people their social activities there. Do we have any mechanism at the project to say somebody will able to complain or say somebody will a voice will be heard that this reform here so it really affects me in ways we are not thinking as well for building. Do you have those mechanisms or let all man be allowed to go complain and next one? Absolutely not. Uh, uh, this, this is this is a World Bank project, project and uh, uh, we are very very, very particular, particular uh, about those safeguards, safeguards, social safeguards, environmental safeguards, safeguards, and we want to make sure, say, whatever, whatever they do, that they impact the, 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 the people, people negatively, that they impact the community negatively. negatively. If, if in any case, case there is we, we in any case we impact communities of people, we have a way for mitigate that. And um, that's, that's the, the, the basic, basic uh, uh, framework. framework. And, and, and so, so for, for that, that, we've established uh, what, we what we call, call the grievance redress mechanism, for example. example. So, so if we, we enter a like community, community, again, again uh, just, just for information, we'll, we'll go for the registration for me to do that. We'll go for what we call the systematic registration. So we'll go for the enter in our communities and do systematic registration. So that's therefore affect people. Um, in, in a way, way um, that, 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 that will be social, social issues and environmental issues. issues. So, so in the, in the, in the, the event, event you have any issue for race, mm -hmm. there's, there's a mechanism, mechanism we will establish, 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 establish a prevention of this mechanism. There are, there are so, so many, many challenges, challenges that you can uh, report. report. Uh, you, can you can make a phone call, you can send an email, you can go on the website. We will get a suggestion box. In those, in those communities, communities over for go, so, so we get all the channels, all the tools, and for reports to the to, to, to the project. project. There's a total free line, line again. You know, I, should I should not forget, forget that total free line with all the the, 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 the main carriers, officer, QCL, and Orange. So you can make a free call, and then we can address them problems. And there's a clear. Uh, framework on how, how we can address those, those problems. problems. The Honorable Minister, we don't have the rainy season right now, and we the rainy host for them. 
here yeah, and there. Yeah. Some man they talk say substandard materials and some man they talk say Ministry of Lands they give building permit for some south side posts they not supposed for being. Some man they talk say Ministry of Lands no they monitor for ensure say anybody they build us um we not get building permit um we stop them. What is your what in you say you ministry day in 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 all of this in terms of um um um, um enforcement in terms of implementation etc. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I can't do that, but I just rub my small on within uh, Dr. Chan just say this now because the whole essence of uh, the reforms that we do now for make sure say there is safety, there is security in terms of land tenure ownership etc. Now. The two we talk about just now, we to tell you about the title registration. Then we come back with Fakana to the same record. Because somebody will talk, say, what is this thing about title registration, title registration? What is this? We will not get conveyors here and there. But let me just wait a few things. When you begin to do title registration, you get so many benefits. So many benefits. Now, when you do title registration, somebody, it prevents you. For let you get somebody who can when a third party, eh? When not to even so tell you picking, you know, you know, very close to our family for let can for let can begin the toxic. No, this why also that will great grandpa that will be there, and I be with that call a pass and also, and I come away get pass and also. When once you begin to try to registration, we go come maybe either mid early next year or mid next year, and they make sure that they don't already will get over that in terms of them palava palava. And then stop it. It is also able for user. For the access, access finance, finance from, from like them bank, bank they, they go serve as collateral. You go get a lot of, I mean, leverage for them you for get access, access to uh, money, money from, from them banks, banks and so that you're able to do business. Because that's the bank show. You know, I don't want me to party all in the cabinet. And I may tell me, you say, you're a commercial bank wanted for go buy, for go take loan. We want for do some of the best care in land and conveyance. You say, you're going to commercial bank talks. You say, no, we need to take this one. This is not a title. This is not a conveyance. Mm. They say that zero really begin to go. I mean, they do all kinds of things. They're not great. They're not gay. So, once you begin to get that, you can see, say, go able access finance from financial institutions to able access that. Then, in terms of also government revenue, you know, then municipalities, then districts, where they call them, the title registration, there is going to be a database. So, they will be able to begin to collect property tax on anything. So, government will benefit more. From next day. day. And not only stop, they also, also it will also, also help for, for as I say, resolve conflict. conflict. Because, because you get, you get documents, document, a register. Mm. Somebody, somebody can, can you know, go to can produce other fake, fake one. one. They go claim the same land. So those so are the things. So you get a lot of benefits when once we get to that particular level. But let me come back to the question in terms of people building that place there where they're not supposed to be. Then of course look, this country, people are just thinking and they take the law into their own hands. If you look recently we do some demolition. Then the demolition that they will do, of course, we collaborate with the Ministry of Environment and other places. Because you can see that the person that will come for can't even talk anything. Because you don't build some side we're not for building. Then nobody not give you permit for go building. Nobody not give you land for documents for seeing that you get land and you go building. So you they violate the law. So now that's make we review the access. Now we also come up with the building code way. I've done the discourse of often and again that from since independence, we not get to get a building code. Since independence. And, and some people, people and they will say, they so let somebody ask, hey, this building code, when I don't talk, talk to her, hey, who's there now that get that? For do a building code, not to one or two days, not to like the other person, who does it, sit down, we review them or whatever they Building code, you got to make sure, say, is that same document? You come up with a building act. When a whole different ball game in terms of developing that one. In, in terms, terms of waiting, waiting and waiting, what they use in terms of materials for building a house, house, depending, depending on, the on the house design, design depending, depending on the location, on the location. all that thing they, they are all going, going to be clearly spelled out in the building code. So not to one off business, that's where you get for take some time and we do push push up. Now we don't put it in a discussion because this thing started from 2015. Just imagine this building code business for started it since 2015. They do have they produce one document, will not be able. For say they will accept a right across. Now the Institute of Architects, the NSF, they don't put them together, they don't talk to the NSF, they don't come up with something. So now there are two documents they now the turn off for March. So now there is a whole team who don't put together where they try to look at this too. Where the gaps are they try to fill up and make sure they come up with their act 
the Bill Code Act, and, and at the same, same time, time they also come up with the regulations. regulations. And, and when you do this, that document can be very, it can be very bulky all over the world now. Very bulky document because they cover so many areas, too many construction or building designs, and they cover so many. So, so when wants to do that, that one, that, that document is going to be produced, and not, not only that, that there is yeah, going to be another version where it will be reader friendly. Reader friendly. Mm -hmm. so, so we are doing all of that to make sure, see, the problems and where they are around construction, where they are around buildings, or where they are around identifying areas, and of course, the design. So we work on that. So it is going to be a very robust document to stand the test of time. Remember, from 1961 to date, we not get one. And we'll never, never come forward to one. So, so this, this, this venture will not take. Now, a very, very terrible rule, a rocky one, one you know, yeah, but we will make sure we will do that and become something where the, the, the public will access. Honorable Minister, that informs us the way you don't mention so. This there sound like music to the air. But again, it sounds to me like music to the air because. <laughs> me go it's great for myself. Say me now one pussy will like waiting good for salon. And some, and some of them it forms are so good for salon. But, but you get, get again dozens or hundreds or thousands or millions of Sierra Leoneans them where if something not benefits their own interest directly or their own pocket. I like in good for the rest of Sierra Leoneans, they will tell you say not a good thing. So how are you they able to manage their situation here? So the question um, actually is, one, are you having the cooperation of stakeholders, like the chiefs, for example, and are they talk about the Edman them, especially like the Western area rural, for example, where they say Edman they give paper, land paper, to people there. The paramount chiefs there, the general public, are you having the cooperation of the general public? And then also, um, how are they able to manage resistance? To change. to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah you see, when they come, come up with something like a building code, uh, it is it not is only for the staff of the Ministry of Lands. Lands. Eh? Eh? Now, for That's the whole country. Let's yeah. yeah. take, for example, example when they come, come up with building code, code, it tell you how do you manage the communities in terms of sanitation when a public health issue. No, but no, they will not forget a decent environment. How do you how manage, do you manage that? that? How do how you make, do you make sure, sure that, that we, we, we develop the community that they, they, they take into consideration sanitation? Who say water pipe for pass? Who say water for pass? Who say electricity for pass? Who say hospital for day? Who say health centers for day? You understand? This is not all business. So many a time when they explain anything, the importance, the relevance of having a bill code for sale. Anytime we talk with people that work in the health sector, you explain tell them everything will benefit them and embrace them. You understand? When they talk also about bill code, you are talking also about public safety. Hmm? Mm -hmm. There is there no is way the problem is that no one the communities are for be safe. Mm -hmm. There is there no way if you support head man, no one the communities will be safe. There is no way somebody who work in a national disaster management agency, no one for see that one as a kind of safe ground for them to collaborate. So when you explain all of these things to people, then they embrace them. Energy efficiency is part of building code. Eh? Eh? You go for make sure you take into account, account. You, take you take into consideration, consideration all of it. So, so for me, I need to get much resistance in terms of consultation. Of course, I, just, I, tell I tell you the other day, say, like, like uh, we promote them. them. Mm? Mm? Now, first, first thing, where you go get people away, they go see them. But the promote is most of them. Some of them even land not pass with. Some of them even expose pass some of food. Some of them don't live abroad, they don't the other side, they don't see what they happen. So they are back home. And most and of them, they will not come back home. What they want to do is to help, help their country. country. They, want they want to see a decent environment. environment. They, want they want to make sure they work, work together. together. So, so I know they get much resistance in terms of them reforms. And what they don't make, make much of them resistance, they are not there anymore. They will start first. You know, even within the ministry, will they get resistance. Even within the ministry. But we will begin the discussions around these things. I mean, we all sit around the table. Many, many times time in our conference hall and the ministry, many, many times we now move to the provinces. The National, National Land Commission don't also come. come. Eh? Even, Even uh, they, they just come from Pukloko. They, they were in Kailan. They don't, they don't come back, back inside, inside Freetown. Uh, uh, now, if, now, one, one or two things even happen, happen, like today, they're for inside McKinney. So, we don't call out, we don't reach a So, the sensitization drive we don't take, talking to people, engaging people. Now, that that just, just, just that you need. For let's say, you understand, understand what are the relevance, what are the importance of the reforms. reforms. So, so the reforms, they go on well. well and uh, there's small, 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 small thing there, somebody will come with you and say, no, this one will not fit you, this one will not go great, this, that. But many a time, the way they are engaging, the way they don't talk with them. Like yesterday, the primary things we are together. 
when they come from town. Within our office yesterday, we got a lot of engagement. All just around the land, the land sector. All around the land sector. Yeah, and then the day I started together, we discussed discuss a lot of things. things. So, so the, 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 the CCC, we, we are moving and that we are making lots and lots of progress in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the reforms of the government. So why should you talk about that cooperation from, from the Paramount Chiefs? Chiefs. Can, can, can you say the same about the, 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 the aid mandate? mandate. Western, Western AIO, for example, example because, because I have seen several instances where people they come with paper, they say they get community paper. It man give them paper. paper. I'm waiting, waiting the law say, say about their things they did. Well, as, as I say, I think say men they don't they understand what they You know, the old the one that will be there before the other one that we don't can they don't understand. When they say a hit man inside the crown colony, your responsibility is people's management. Your responsibility is not about land administration or land management. That is not your responsibility as a man. Your responsibility is people's management and give support to government. In terms, in terms of implementation, implementation of policies and your community, community or wherever, wherever you find yourself. That's, that's the responsibility of the human being. So, so for say, say hey, then they land, land there. there. No, no, in the first place, place you, you don't get community land. land. You, you only get community get land where there is a need, need, need for public utilities, public services. Then in the Crown Colony, where now Western area are born, where the government then they talk say, okay, this one we don't make an hour, this one for school, this one for hospital, this one for police post. That, that land, land is a community land, land. but now well, government is a sanctioner, sanctioner for a particular, particular purpose. purpose. So we don't so get we'll community, community land, land at all. At all. So, this so this question, question of uh, the man, will get along very well. Very well, okay. very very well, well is the intent. I mean, it's going to understand what we understand said, but I think they're too three engagement to longer. Why they take text into them? Say, no, 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 you don't get land. Manage the relationship between people in your community. But in terms of land administration at the Crown Colony, we're in a Western area and that of Bonds Municipality. Those are the Crown Colonies. No, now government then get that mandate. Now government get that authority. Not to know that person get that authority. Now we get that. Then even in the provinces, government get the whole responsibility for manage. Uh, uh, land. Uh, land, uh, land and social management, management, as I explained. Explain. Uh, now, now we are the chiefs there. Uh, mm? Now the crown colon and the provinces. provinces. Now we are there for discuss land business, land matters. Land matters. Right. Because, because this land where they sue, now salon, this alone land. Now the provinces, they are the custody of the chiefs there on behalf of government. Many, Many thanks, thanks to you, to you Honorable Minister, Minister, for making the critical, critical clarification so inside, inside um, this program. Dr. Dr. Alpha John Cham, as we wrap up, what else would you like the people to know or be hopeful of or not be hopeful of as far as the implementation of the Sierra Land Administration project is concerned? Well, thank you again. Um, as Mr. Ross said, we transition the whole essence of the reform itself in the land sector strengthening. Um, 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 ten rights, land rights. For make sure, say, say once you get the ownership, ownership nobody, nobody for able to challenge, challenge you. you. Uh, and, and even when they challenge you, there's a way you can resolve it. it. So that's so the that's whole thing. thing. And, 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 and so, so what do you want to do? Farmers and that we are working on that, and very soon we can start the registration of title and ready for support the whole process. You have to take some time. And of, and of course, course uh, uh, we'll get, get every, every community, community involved, involved uh, uh, in, in, in the, the whole process. process. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll provide, provide employment, employment uh, create new, new opportunities for Sierra Leoneans who take part in the whole process, process. And, and of course, course develop their skills and provide you know, uh, uh, career opportunities for most of the brothers and sisters. Many thanks to you, sir. Honorable Minister, I will give you a final word on this edition. Thank you very much. And I want to say thank you to Sierra Leoneans. We don't see the light. And, and we don't see, see how they solve the problems. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, continue for collaborate, and Lord, continue for give support to government. His Excellency, the President, gets a vision for make sure see we get a safer environment. We get building them. We will stand the test of time. We will build today, then tomorrow, then for on. Lord, we avoid for the build and the catchment areas and swamps. All swamps then at this country are so. Those are wetlands. They belong to the state. So let's not just go take the back field and do here and there. Like in the western area, where they work on a program. All the areas. Already in the backfield and make sure they put houses there. We'll go for bring the camp down because we don't see how they turn on the flood. We don't land lessons this particular resistance. We don't cancel. We don't go afford for not getting similar lessons next uh, next year. So most of them believe they'll go for take them out. No sooner the rain comes, we'll go for take them building out of the swamps and then wet areas. All right, many thanks to you, the Honorable Minister, and many thanks to you, my project coordinator, Dr. Alpha Joe Cham. Right, folks, don't forget to subscribe to this channel now. That's it. Okay, so Jimmy Carter. 
tell the people say subscribe to this channel now okay. tell them okay welcome to egypt yeah and tell them to subscribe say subscribe now and jimmy carter in now now here yeah no you tell the people in... say everybody watching subscribe to this channel right now say that what is it? Say subscribe. Subscribe. Yes, subscribe. 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 Yes. Yeah. To the channel. So now. Yes. Oh. Say that. You tell them. Say subscribe. Subscribe. To. So. The channel. The channel. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Say that in Arabic. Say that in Arabic. Tell them to follow me. Say follow this channel now. Yeah. I mean Jimmy Carter. Yeah. Stay here. Nine pyramid. Yes.